Are you using your podcast as part of a marketing strategy for your business? Because if you are, this video is how you can talk about your customers on your podcast in a very natural way that offers some great credibility to you, great stories for your future customers to listen to, as well as establishes you as the authority in your field. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I want to talk about how you can incorporate customer stories into your podcast episodes, because this is something that I think is so important that all of us need to do. If you have a business and you have a podcast, I think that you need to melt the two together. You can do this in multiple ways. One of my favorite is being able to talk about your business and sell your own products, services, everything. You can check out this video here all about podcast ads for your podcast. It's super important to check out if you have a business for your podcast. But today I wanna talk specifically about sharing customer stories on your podcast. There's a way to do this very naturally. There's a very strategic idea behind this. And I have three strategic things I wanna share with you today. So let's dive right in. So the first way for you to mention you have a business or talk about your business naturally, organically on your podcast is to say the words client, business, customers, keep it very vague in general without you sharing someone's private information. So what do I mean by that? So I have on the Profit Podcast, if you have not tuned in, you can go check it out. There's links below where you can check out the Profit Podcast, my podcast. But I talk to entrepreneurs all the time and I will mention from time to time, I had a previous student who blank. I have worked with a client who did blank. I have members of my potty people community who have achieved X results. Do you see what I'm saying? I am vaguely mentioning customers, clients, members. I'm using these words to let you know this is what I do, right? I'm not just outright saying, buy my course, join my program, sign up for a coaching call. I am subtly telling you, I have a business. This podcast is part of my business model without actively selling to you. So this is a way that you can vaguely, without crossing those boundaries of sharing too much information about one individual, you can keep it very broad and just say, I have had a previous client who has achieved X success. Or let me tell you about a time when this one person that I worked with ran into this kind of obstacle and how you can overcome this and not make the same mistake or run into the same stumbling block. It's very important to include these words in your podcast and when you're talking about your business topic because it goes back to what we were saying at the beginning. It builds that credibility. It shares experiences that hopefully your customers will want to experience with you in the future, but it also establishes that authority that you've actually worked with other people, right? Like you're not just someone who's turned on a microphone and has no idea what they're talking about. You have some credibility behind it because you have already helped someone else achieve these results. So that is strategy number one. Strategy number two is where name dropping comes into play. So I do want to throw out a quick disclaimer that you should never, never share somebody's information without their permission. You can get into a lot of trouble for this and there are many ways that you can go about protecting yourself, protecting your customers, your clients, and any information that you share about them or their podcast or their business or their success stories. But I just wanna throw that out there first is always make sure that you've protected yourself and you're not sharing someone's information when you don't have permission to. Now, with all that being said, I do believe that you can share success stories on your podcast from your previous clients, customers, coaching call members, members of your community, students, program members, people of your mastermind, whatever that looks like for you, I want you to share those stories on your podcast, but I want to make sure 
that you have permission to do so because sharing someone's information without their permission can probably be a huge ordeal. I don't even wanna go into it because I don't even know what that looks like. Thankfully, that's never happened to me before, but I do wanna just throw out that warning. But what this would look like is you would share the success that they've had and you would call them out by name. Maybe you would call out their business that such and such from this podcast had amazing success whenever they implemented these strategies that I'm sharing here with you today. That is a great example of how you could share someone's information and um, it's kind of like a testimonial if you've ever had any experience with capturing customer testimonials. Um, if you want to see this firsthand, I encourage you to go to profitpodcasting.com. We have some awesome testimonials for our members of the course that we have, as well as the members for the Potty People community. I want you to go check those out. There's going to be a link below in the description where you can go see exactly what I'm talking about. I have some video testimonials as well as some written testimonials, but I have permission from these people to share these. So I want you to go check those out, but that is strategy number two, is I want you to use specific names, examples, their business, or whatever other information they wanna share with you, because let's be honest, this is a great promotional opportunity for them whenever you're talking about them on your podcast. And that is kind of the way that I frame this so my students and my members of my community are encouraged to share their stories, because I tell them, I'm gonna give you a plug whatever website you want me to link to or social media or whatever that looks like, I'm going to give you a plug. I'm going to give you a shout out in this podcast episode. So send me whatever links you want to have on there. So that's strategy number two for talking about your customers on your podcast. So tell me in the comments below what your business is. I would love to see the different businesses that are represented here on this channel and what you do for a living and how maybe we can support you and give you a shout out or just even I like to dive into just because I'm geeky like this. I like to see how members of the community, like who you are, what you do and how I can create more content related to what you do in your business. Okay, let's get back to the video. And the third strategy I have to share with you today, all about sharing customer stories on your podcast is to have them come onto your podcast. Like what a great way to showcase an episode, showcase an interview, a client, a success story, whatever that looks like for you, invite them onto your podcast, have them share it firsthand. Because while I think it's cool for me to talk about success stories and things that my clients and my students and my members of my community have done, I think it's even cooler whenever my audience can hear it firsthand. Like they can hear parts of their journey that maybe I would have left out or I would have missed, or they can share their own personal aha moments that they've had along the way. And I think that having them on your podcast, doing an interview is a fantastic way to share the customer experience, the customer journey, because I can tell you right now, my friends, whenever I have had previous coaching clients on my podcast, previous students, those are the episodes that I get comments on. Those are the episodes people write in and say, oh, I totally related to April's story on the podcast. Or I really appreciated Amy talking about her blogging journey because it was so helpful. I'm in her same position. So those are the three ways that I want you to talk about your customers on your podcast. But that does it for today, so make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already. Make sure you check out these other awesome podcasting videos that we put out every single week. If you're subscribed, you won't miss any of the future content that we put out. And remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.